Hi, I'm Chef Jeff Trombetta for the Hospitality Department of the University of New Haven in Connecticut. And today I'm going to show you how to make a taco recipe. So we will begin. We have spices. We have paprika. The spices are the most important thing in this uh, taco recipe because you want the flavor. So we have paprika. We have oregano, a Mexican oregano. We have a little bit of uh, annatto which is a coloring agent it's from the annatto seed. We have some pepper, a red pepper, and we have cumin, which is also very important. These are Some of these are whole seeds. Before I get started on toasting my spices, I should probably give my onions a head start. We're not going to fray to give them some color. In this little pan, the spices that I just talked about, the paprika, the oregano, the pepper, the annatto, the cumin seed, the whole cumin seed that is, and I know it's a pain in the neck, but if you can, always go whole spices because the, the flavors are much more sealed. The, the volatile oils are not dissipated into the air. You get so much more flavor. That is the reason why I'm toasting the spices because it just activates the oils from these dried spices, gets them livened up, and that's just a little toast on that. You don't want to burn them. A little toast. So the spices are nice and toasty and gives the whole dish kind of a smoky, uh, authentic, Mexican appeal. I want to give it a, a chop, and that's really giving off some aroma. We have our onions. They're coming along nicely. We want to give a good, uh, we want to cook these till they're at least translucent. I'm going to add my uh, spices. So now, I'm going to mix those into my onions, and we're going to add some uh, ground beef. So we mix that around. Now you can see the yellow color coming out. That is the annatto, the annatto seed. That's, that's what colors uh, cheddar ch uh, cheese or yellow American cheese. While that's cooking, we're going to start to um, get our mise en place together. And we're going to add some uh, chopped serrano pepper, give it a little bit of freshness and heat. We're going to finish with garlic. I'm going to let this cook a little bit longer and let these flowers kind of, flavors kind of marry. Of course some fresh herbs. We have some um, fresh oregano. And then we're going to let that cook a little bit. We just kind of flip and toss. The taco meat is done cooking. We're going to season with a little salt. Remember kosher salt, it's a bigger crystal. It dissolves quicker. Kosher salt by volume is half the strength of regular table salt and it's seasoned, smells delightful and um, now we're ready to plate. Here we are softening up our tacos, put a little bit of water in there and that's beautiful. We have nice soft tacos that are on the plate. We take our seasoned taco meat and we put it right there. I'm not going to add anything except a little bit of parsley, a little bit of scallions nicely cut and this is nice and pliable and I doubled up the taco okay just like that a little bit of uh, tomatoes and we're gonna go a little bit of cheese just to kind of decorate and as an accompaniment and a little bit more green onion just for decoration and now we take the cherry tomato and I just cut towards the stem okay and I just cut it into six, basically, almost down to the stem. And now it starts to get a little flimsy. Okay, there we go. And then I could just kind of open it up a little bit, just like a, f a flower. And now you have a taco. You could serve two. You could roll some of this garnish inside. But that's a nice little munch. And that's how to make taco meat. Roll it up, plate it attractively arrange it with some uh, wonderful accompaniments, shredded cheddar cheese, chopped tomato, sliced scallions, and make a beautiful garnish out of a nice fresh picked cherry tomato. I'm Chef Jeff Trombetta from the Hospitality Department of University of New Haven in Connecticut.